Coffee on a Tuesday and vlog 43. Dad? Minimalism is everywhere. It's a style in which the simplest and fewest elements are used to create the maximum effect. And you can find minimalism in almost every art form or kind of media, in the visual arts, in music, in literature. You can find it in architecture and expensive food, but most importantly, I think, for the current age, you see it as defining trends in advertising and design. The influence here is in good part Japanese, where Zen Buddhist concepts of simplicity inform living spaces and ways of life, and not only for its aesthetics, but also as a moral imperative to respect the quintessence of things. No filmmaker, for example, did a better job of capturing this than Yasuhiro Ozu, whose films you should watch immediately after this video is over, of course. Camera always placed low to the ground, Ozu's films have a two-dimensional quality, exhibiting what is essentially an organization of geometric shapes. And never forget, the film frame itself is a rectangle. This, for me, is the key of minimalism. It's a movement of organized geometry, the relationships of shapes inside what is essentially just a bunch of rectangles. The TV screen, the computer screen, the film frame, the YouTube player, the billboard, the street sign, or the page. A more recent influence is the Dutch de style movement, or neoplasticism, as Piet Mondrian, whose paintings you will most certainly recognize, said, It is possible that through horizontal and vertical lines constructed with awareness but not with calculation, led by high intuition and brought to harmony and rhythm, that these basic forms of beauty, supplemented if necessary by other direct lines or curves, can become a work of art as strong as it is true. And it's true, the geometrical organization is one of intuition, influenced perhaps by symmetry and weight in photography by the rule of thirds, but finally achieved by a feeling. This feels right, comfortable, balanced. Take my end screen, for example. I must have spent an hour making minute millimeter changes to the elements you see here, which when pared down, look like this. Three rectangles in a circle inside a larger rectangle, trying to achieve a kind of harmony between the distances in empty blue space. Maybe it was an hour wasted, or Maybe we are more attracted to pieces of design that work in a minimalist sense. Maybe in the full appraisal that you take of my work, the end screen design, the framing, the text, the pictures reinforce or intensify the reaction you have to the content. The rise of minimalism is symptomatic of a chaotic culture. Bombarded with information, the organizational impulse is amplified and we're drawn to messages or products that help us to assemble disparate data into a coherent whole. So instead of this, we want this. And instead of these, we use this. Life is marked with contradictory but balancing trends, tendencies that aim in their way to harmonize the confusion of modernity. Minimalism is a reminder, and a welcome one, that in a fog of appointments and Facebook notifications and different types of shampoo and homework and real work, that you can breathe.